So a committee consists of a chair, member, and six other members, and for a proposal to be accepted, it must be supported by the chair and at least two other members, or by s all six other members. And we want to create a weighted voting system representing this committee. Now, if, if, uh, everyone had equal weight, if we didn't have these conditions, uh, then we could create a weighted voting system where our chair and one, two, three, four, five, six other members each had one vote. And that would be our weighted, that would be our voting system. And then, of course, we would need to set a quota. So, based on this condition, um, if all six other members support it, that it should reach quota, then if these six players band together, they would have a total weight of six, and so we might imagine at least initially setting our quota at six. So this weight, this system as we have it written now satisfies this condition, but we still need to worry about our other condition, which is if our proposal, uh, is supported by the chair and two other members, then it should reach quota and it should pass. So one way to accomplish that would be to change the weight or the, uh, the weight of the chair member. Uh, so the chair member, uh, needs to have more weight, enough so that the coalition of C, O, and O, right, the chair and two other members, has a weight that reaches quota. And right now we have the quota set at six. Now each of the other members already has a weight of one, so we could accomplish that by increasing the chair's weight all the way up to four. So if we change the chair's weight to four, now the chair member and any other two members can reach quota, or the six other members can reach quota. And so this is a weighted voting system for this scenario. Mind you, it's not the only one. There are an infinite number of other possibilities, but this is one simple solution. So now let's look at a second scenario. It's very similar. Again, chair member, six other me members, but this time the only way a proposal can be accepted is for it to be supported by the chair and at least three other members. So again, if we imagine ourselves having a chair and one, two, three, four, five, six other members, and we'll start for simplicity, giving each member one vote. Now, in this case, we don't want any c coalition or any combination of the other members to be able to reach quota. So if our six other members got together and they have a total weight of six, they should not be able to reach quota here. So we're going to need to set the quota higher than that. We're going to need to set the quota to at least seven. Uh, now, in order for the chair and three other members to be able to reach quota, chair and, sorry, three other members, um, they're gonna need to be able to have a weight of at least seven. We already know that our other players have weight of one, so let's go ahead and again increase the weight of our chair member. In this case, if we increase the weight of our chair to four, then four, five, six, seven, uh, then the chair member and any three other members will be able to reach quota. But the six other members by themselves will not. And so here is a weighted voting system that could represent this committee. It's not the only one again, but it is probably the simplest.